Hi guys, uh, today's video we're going to cover exponents and exponents is a very very easy concept to understand. I'm going to start off by telling you that you do have to be strong with your basic multiplication skills. Now having said that, in the video I'm going to provide you with a couple of things. I'm going to provide you with one, so a few examples on exponents and how to perform them, how to answer them. I'm also going to provide you with some common mistakes that a lot of students make and we are not going to do that. Okay, so please make sure that you watch the video carefully. Again, very easy to understand. And three, at the very end, I'm gonna provide you with a question, a single question, simple, simple question, just to make sure that you understood the concept that we covered. And at, right at the very end, I'm gonna provide you with the answer as well. So having said this, please make sure that you rewind wherever you need to rewind. Pause if I'm moving too fast for you. And if necessary, watch the video second time around, but I highly doubt it because it is so easy. Again, guys, please, please make sure that you show your work in everything that you do. After all, this is math class and showing your work is an essential part of it. So now that we said this, let's go ahead and get started. Ugh. Hey, Chris, what are you so sad about? I have to do my math homework. It's exponents. Well, that's not so bad. Exponents are simple if you know how to do them right. Maybe for you, but you're a genius. How am I supposed to do exponents? Come on, I'll show you the proper way to do exponents. All right. And that is exactly what this video is about today. We're going to discuss exponents. Well, let's start off with what is an exponent? All right, the exponent of a number says how many times to use the base. In this example, I have... Uh, 6 to the third power. Okay, as you can see here, the exponent is the 3, and the base is the 6. Now, I'm going to repeat myself. The exponent of a number, so this number right here, the exponent is going to tell the base, this number right here, how many times to use it. In this case, 6 to the third power means you're going to see the base this many times. So 6 times 6 times 6. You're going to see it three times. However, a very common mistake that kids make is they automatically assume that if they see the number 6 to the third power, they want to do 6 times 3. And that is wrong guys please do not make that mistake I always encourage you to show your work now I'm gonna show you how to remember exponents with a visualization and with a short story now most of you have uh, little brothers or sisters right well for some reason it's the little brother or sister that bullies the big one it's not the opposite it's usually the little guy or the little brother or sister that bullies the big brother or sister. Here I have a representation of the exponent and the base. All right, let's go back to the example we saw earlier, 6 to the third power. All right, this is the exponent, and the 6 is the base. All right, now the bully is the 3. This bully is going to tell the big number what to do. So just like a little brother or sister, okay, here I have the, the picture, and the 6 is the base, the big brother, and the 3 is the exponent, the bully. Okay, so in this case, the little brother is telling the big brother what to do. And the big brother is like, oh my god, all right, all right. So the little guy tells his big brother, well, I want to see you split three times. So the brother's like, okay, okay, six times six times six. Okay, you're going to see the base, you're going to see the base three times. One, two, three. And that's really all an exponent is, guys. It's multiplying the base, the exponent number of times. Now, using the same illustration, let's try another one. Let's try five to the second power. All right, so I'm going to use the pictures. I'm going to write 5 to the second power. 
Okay, so in this case, the little guy, the little brother, he's telling the big brother, I want to see you split two times. And the brother's like, all right, all right, I'll split. Five times five. All right, five times five is 25. We just solved it. That means that five to the second power equals 25. Now, a very common mistake that uh, kids make, guys, please do not make this mistake. Very common mistake that kids do is this. They don't want to show any work. They, they just see 5 to the second power and automatically, what do you think the answer they choose? Oh, that means 5 times 2. That's 10. That's wrong. Show your work. Okay? 5 to the second power means I want to see the 5 twice. Okay? That means 5 times 5. I see it two times and then you multiply and you get the answer. All right, let's try a couple more. Let's go ahead and try two to the fourth power. All right, typical wrong response would be two times four. Oh, I don't need to show my work, that's easy. The answer is eight. Wrong, always show your work, all right? So using the bully and the brother, I'm gonna write two to the fourth power. All right, so the little guy, the little brother tells his big brother, I want to see you split four times. So the brother's like, all right, all right. Two times two times two times two. Let's see if he did it four times. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's four times. All right, so what I'm going to do is connect them in pairs. Two times two is four. Two times two is four. And four times four gives me 16. All right, I used up all my numbers. So the correct answer to 2 to the fourth power equals 16. Let's try one more. This time let's do 3 to the third power. Now let's discuss a typical wrong answer again. Kids are going to want to not show their work. They're going to say 3 times 3, that's easy. The answer is 9. Wrong show your work. All right, let's do it. Let's label the little guys and the big guy. All right, in this case, it's three to the third power. So the little brother, the little bully, he tells his big brother, I want to see you split three times. The brother's like, all right, all right. One, two, three. All right, to solve it, let's put them in pairs. I can put this one with this one. Three times three is nine. I used it. Can I pair up this number with another one? No, I cannot, so I'm just going to bring it down. And 9 times 3 gives me 27. All right, so the correct answer is 27, as opposed to 9, which was the wrong answer. That's why I highly encourage show your work. Now here I provided you with a quick image on how exponents look. All right. Here we have the first one we have is 2 to the first power. So the little guy tells the big guy, I want to see you one time. So it only appears one time. The answer stays the same. On the second example, we have 2 to the second power. All right, 2 to the second power. So the little guy tells the big guy, I want to see you split two times. And he goes, all right, one, two. And 2 times 2 is 4. Let's look a little bit further down. Let's look at this one down here. 2 to the 6th power. All right? Let me erase that. 2 to the 6th power. There we go. All right, well, the little guy is telling the big guy what to do. And the little guy tells him, I want to see you split six times. So the 2 says, all right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six. All right, and as you know, to answer it, I'm going to work down here. All right, let's go ahead and answer it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. All right, I used all of them up here. I still got to continue to multiply. All right, and here I have 4 times 4 is 16, 
and 16 times 4 gives me 64. And that is how we solve them. Here I have provided you with another little cartoon. Let's see if you can answer this. All right, let's discuss what the guy is saying here. All right, the guy is saying if 2 to the first power equals 2 and 2 to the second power equals 4, what does 2 to the third power equal? And the girl here is saying, easy, 2 to the third power equals 6. I know the rule. The question asks, what is Samir's rule? And is it correct? Now, you give it a shot based on what you just learned. Check if she's correct. And if not, provide us with the correct answer. So go ahead and put the video on pause for about 10 seconds or so, however long it takes you to find the correct answer, and then insert it in that little box. And the correct answer is eight. If you show your work, guys, two to the third power, remember the little guy's the bully? The little guy's telling the big guy what to do. And he tells him, I wanna see you split three times. So the big guy obeys. One, two, three. Two times two is four. Bring this one down. Four times two is eight. Now the common mistake that uh, Samira used or that Serena made is that she multiplied two times three. Remember I told you not to make that mistake guys? I've said it throughout the video. That's a common mistake kids do. We're not lazy. We put effort. We show our work. We want to make sure that we get the correct answer. She did two times three and that's how she got her answer, six. But we know better. We know to show our work. Two to the third power does not mean two times three. It means two times two times two. All right. I hope this video has helped you. Please continue to watch the other videos as the year goes by. Thank you.